Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part 6 of my full platinum walkthrough for Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. We are exactly where we left off at the end of the previous video as always and I am doing it the day after, not two weeks after, two weeks after, so I know what I'm doing this time, I promise. Uh, right, so what I'm going to do first is acquire skills. So basically we want to get one of the skill trees finished, so we need this sword at the end here. Or this one at the end here, or this other one at the end here, here, which it doesn't really matter which, it's just we need to get a certain dialogue option from a character soon, well, soon-ish, and we want to finish one. So we're going to do that, and we're going to finish off the this one here, the Shinobi Arts one, or I'm going to. Ultimately, it's up to you. We need them all. Uh, just finish one of them. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is uh, because we get to the... Stronger Makiri counter, which is Shinobi Eyes there, and then move towards the end one after that. You need the, the middle ones as well as the tracks go. If they two of them come together, they need to be combined. So we've got a few we need to do yet, but that's where I'm putting my points for now. Right, we're going to be doing Ashina Castle. And this one we're going to be climbing, climbing up the stairs and the castle itself. So we need to go uh, there shortly. But first we're going to go back to Ashina Reservoir. Uh, I did mention in the previous video that I forgot an item. That is one down there. It's just, uh, I think it was a Mibu balloon, uh, that specific one. Uh, so I'm not going to go and get that. But if you want to run across and get that, then you uh, you can do. There is a couple of rats down there, so be careful. Uh, then we're going to jump across, and I'm going to actually fall off here because I was getting ahead of myself. A pretty good demonstration because you can now see what happens if you fall off if you haven't already. Not much. You just lose a bit of health, which is good. So jump up round here, and I'm just going to quickly kill this one. Uh, we're going to the dungeon briefly. Uh, I did say that there was a sculptor's idol there, but more importantly, I actually did go and have a quick look to see if there was anything worth grabbing. And there is. There's a bulging coin purse, so that is definitely worth grabbing. It's a a thousand, a thousand, <laughs> a thousand. Uh, so we want that because we're going to be purchasing quite a few things in this video. So get some. Uh, Shurikens ready because there's going to be some. Where are they? Geckos. There's two of them. One there. And then there's going to be one behind you as well. And then over here is a horrible, horrible mini boss we're not going to deal with right now. I really hate those. Down here it is dark, but if you look over, you will see a ledge where the item is and then go for the item. And it is that bulging coin purse that we're after. Uh, and then we're just going to leave. So I'm going to use this idol so we can come back here later on so we're just gonna travel away back to Ashina castle now if you do if you do have a bunch of coins on you you can go to Ashina dungeon entrance entrance there and uh, cash some in for some purses if you want to because we do have a uh, little boss fight coming up here so stick to the roof uh, listen to this if you wish. It's a little battle cry that they do. I'm just going to skip over it now. And then the the little ones, you can just throw your shurikens at. Sometimes they will block. If one of them does fire, then they'll all become alerted. It's not a problem if that's happened. If that happens, just hide behind the roofs and uh, they'll uh, diagro. Vacuum everything up, and th that will leave just the boss on his own. This is a bit of a tricky jump. Uh, if you do knock that building, then you will miss it. It's not a problem, we're just going to jump back up. We want to get behind the uh, the boss here. So do jump off the wall. There's another Mibu Balloon of Wealth. Uh, we're actually going to fight this guy. We do need to learn how to fight as well, ultimately, because there are some boss fights where we just can't avoid or can't you know, blag our way through it and do some hitting them with the axe constantly. There's just some you can't do that. So this one we're going to do properly, uh, apart from the first one, obviously. So Makiri counter, I did press it then. I don't know why it didn't. I did, it happens twice, annoyingly. Uh, but we, we fought this kind of guy many times, twice already, uh, sorry. And it's a similar thing. Just block. Watch out for the Makiri counter, that one. Uh, do be ready with that. I don't know what was going on. Like I said, it's still rusty. Ultimately, it has still been two weeks. That's my excuse for sticking to it. It will get better. So there we go. And he does do the charge. So you can use firecrackers on him. And he will do the charge. 
where he will uh, reduce his posture bar back down again. Missed that one as well, which he's going to do now, which is a bit annoying. So, jump over there. Whenever, whenever it does the sweep, obviously jump. Makiri counter, be ready with that. The grab, just avoid altogether. It's an easy one to do, avoid. And just keep chipping away. He does have quite... Uh, his, he does telegraph his attacks quite a lot, quite long. Yeah, you're not doing it this time. And then take you down. Bit sloppy, but uh, yeah, it's good, honestly. <laughs> uh, hopefully, it puts you in a better mind that, uh, yeah, if you play perfectly, then it's, you know, that doesn't help anyone really, does it? If you can blag your way through it and just kind of just by the skinny of teeth kind of thing, then uh, anybody can do it. So open up the chest, uh, we did get a bead from him. I was going to carry on up the uh, the castle, but we're not going to do that just yet. Um, I got seen there, and I don't want to deal with those guys right now. So I'm going to run back down here, use this prayer bead. And that's going to enhance our physical abilities even further. It's the third one now. So we are getting stronger. Or oh, we can more resilient, take more damage. So those guys will be back, but the mini boss obviously will not be. He's gone forever. So tr track away the other side. Now this is where I fell down earlier on. Speak to this guy. Say, yes, you are a shinobi. And he's going to ask you to clear this area. And that's what we're going to do. Because he's going to give us something, but uh, it's just a little note that we don't particularly need. But what we do need is the gourd seed he will sell to us later on. So stick to the roof. Whenever you're on the rooftops like this, always take the highest roof so it gives you the best vantage point because these little guys are everywhere. And I hate these. I really do hate these. Uh, they are fast. And well, if there's more than one of them, you're just going to really struggle. But uh, there's just two on these roofs, these early ones. So stealth kill both of these. And then there's a bunch of guys on the floor. So yeah, work your way down essentially. I'm trying to, yeah, trying to get the old shuriken there, but uh, some of them were hitting the roof. And then there's another two guys below, just letting them kind of diagro, and there we go. Get the one with the hat on. And there's going to be a bunch of guys running around the corner as well. They're easy ones, honestly. There's a dog. So <laughs> don't hug the wall. Obviously, I was trying to hoover up the items. Always do the easiest ones first. And, uh, that, there may be some more coming around the corner, but for now that will be it. Depends if you got full alert or not. Just going to grab a couple of things, some scrap iron. We need this. That's the most important thing up there. And then we need the night jar beacon memo. They are the Nightjar something, I forget, the ones on the rooftops, the Nightjar Samurai or something like that. So just take the one with the gun out, he's there, and there's one with a spear, and then there's a couple with uh, with swords. So we'll go for the one with the spear, he's a little more annoying than ones with the swords. I think there's another one, yeah, he has, actually he has a spear as well. Counter, get it right for once. Right, so that should be it. Uh, and then we're going to go up and speak to that guy again. And if it's not clear, if he doesn't say what he's about to say to me and give you the Nightjar Beacon memo, then just go and have a look around. It means there's an enemy still somewhere. Just kill them and come back. Uh, but once he gives you the note, then you know that you've done it right. And now he's going to move to the temple and become a merchant, which is the most important part of this because he's going to sell us a gourd seed which we'll get later on right so we're going to make make our way up uh, the temple properly now i'm going to go through a lot of effort to get this item i don't know why that didn't work and of course it's just going to be ceramic shards completely useless well not completely useless but uh completely useless <laughs> i'm never going to use them i'm sure you probably don't either you might use it once or twice. 
but as you get stronger, you just you don't do as much uh, stealthing around. You just kind of brute force it. So making our way up onto this rooftop here, duck behind here, and there's one nightjar guy here, and then there's two on the opposite roof. Now, these are a little bit annoying. Uh, I would just say there's an item on the nest, the, in a nest on the left-hand side of this rooftop I'm on. You're going to be see me run right over the top of it with the intention of coming back to get it, and I do forget. So do pick it up. It's not a, a massively important one. It might, I can't actually remember what it is. It might be pellets or something. So there's two of them here, and two of these guys together can be a real pain. Never mind the five or so that we'll have shortly. But uh, you can let them de-aggro a bit, go into the yellow worn state, and then you can do a couple of shurikens and do it that way. And it, if you have the time, obviously, I don't have the time to wait around and do this. And then you can kill one of them, leaving you just one. Uh, obviously, choose the, the same one. I'm not going to wait around and do this. But there's the item. Do grab it. I was in a bit of a rush. Whatever you do, don't go straight on because there's another guy waiting to get you. So just deal with these two first. They are fairly weak. Um, the main problem is that they're fast and they do backflips when it's your kind of opening. Uh, they'll do that spinning attack. If you are a lot better than I am at uh, blocking and deflecting, then you can deflect that quite a few times each time they do it. There's one, there's another. And uh, it does do a bit of posture damage. There we go. And take them down. They are, oh God, I hate these things. Right, there's one hanging on a kite on the roof. You may have seen the kite. Slowly move towards him. When he starts screaming and flying through the air, that's how you know you've got his attention. Try and lock on and block. You can parry that uh, if you are quick enough. But they will. he will get a torch and set his uh, little scythe things on fire, should I say. Uh, you can use firecrackers to stun them as well now in this area there's about you see there's a kite one right on the on the far far side of this roof uh, do watch out for that and there's another trap as well there's there's like five or six up here chances are you will get spotted like oh, come on man so if this does happen to you then you can hide behind the rooftops uh, and move around and just try and pick one or two off uh, you can go to the get them all bunched together like this, and then you can go to the opposite side of the roof, and they should go into a warning state as opposed to uh, to aggroed. There's quite you see there's a lot of them, horrible horrible to be uh, doing together. Yeah, just don't don't try and take them all on like that. There's another roof up here, so you come running round, and uh, it will give you a chance to. To heal and pick them off. If you do hug the wall like this and one comes towards you, you will be able to do a, a death blow on them. I don't know why I didn't wait and do that there. Uh, because there was one coming around this side as well, I thought I was going to get him. But this one unfortunately doesn't turn around. They do have a, a bit of a habit of just standing there. Even when they completely de aggro, they just kind of stand there. So you're just going to have to at some point make a move. It's a horrible, horrible section, this. Just going to have to go for it. The ones with the white fur are the weaker ones. You should be able to cut through them fairly quickly. You can, of course, use some sugars if you want, if you're really struggling. I wouldn't say do that though uh, if you are really really struggling and you can't get through this then yes obviously use some of the blue sugar to help with your your health yeah see if you you do follow them around the roofs they will uh go back to yellow and you will get that chance for a death blow patience is obviously it's going to help you a lot here i don't have that right now because we're doing a video i can't just stand around all day and uh yeah eventually you'll get them all and then we need to jump over to this other rooftop but be careful because there is a kite guy. And there is another guy that will explode uh, to the right-hand side around this corner. We need to get in the in the window to the right here. I did I do have a quick peek around. And I thought he was gone because they all grouped together. And I didn't even spot that red arrow that was there. But uh, he is there and he's going to do that and kill me. So watch out for him. I thought he'd already followed me with the... Uh, 
the rest of them, but that wasn't the case. So we do have Resurrect, which is uh, pretty damn handy, because I don't want to do this section again. They're just horrible, these things. So if you do want to try, if you're really struggling, run for it, do watch out for the exploding one. But up through this window, we're going to be safe. We're done. Ash, sure, more importantly, Gourd Seed in this chest. And now we're going to go and purchase another one. So two Gourd Seeds in a row, which is uh, that's going to be damn helpful. So we're going to travel back to uh, this uh, the temple, dilapidated temple, couldn't even think of it then. And then the guy that we helped out before at the bottom of the castle is going to be here. Uh, we can talk to him. I'm just going to skip over that. And he's going to sell, he sells quite a lot of good stuff, actually. He sells the sugars and coin purses and things. Uh, but most importantly, we want, we want this gourd seed, which is 2,000. Uh, you can sell him things. So it's the easier way of doing it, isn't it? So you can tell exactly how much he's getting. So that's close enough. And we'll buy that one, which now means we now have two. Go to Emma while we're here. And uh, use both of them. That gives us two more uses of our Estus flask or healing gourd, whatever you want to call it. I always try. I know I only have two, but it's like <laughs> if we keep the momentum going, maybe they'll do it a third time. No, it doesn't work like that, does it? Anyway, we're going to go back to the castle now. It's actually this one here, the upper tower antechamber. And this next section is a good farming section. It's a good early farming section. Uh, you're going to want to have on the spear. It, we're going to try the spear out. It's fine. It can do against certain enemies like these ones. But stick to the right-hand side and this guy will uh, path through that open door. This is a new type of samurai. They're quite tough, to be honest. But it, this is a good farming path. So open this door up. And you can go straight for this one here. That one won't see you, and the old woman won't see you either. If you alert the old, old woman, she will alert everybody else. So backstab that guy, and then cross this bridge. Get the old woman. Keep tight to the rail so she doesn't see you. Don't go through this door on the left. Follow this other one into the room. And get him as well. So pellet there. So yeah, it's a, a decent little farming area to start with because they do drop upgrade materials as well. There's two more in here. You're going to have to fight one of them. You could always run away and try and de-aggro him. But uh, we're going to try the spear out. It does do damage. It actually does damage from a distance, which is quite good. But they are fast and they do have the, the old uh, jab attack. So Makiri counter can be used here. But they are quite fast as well. It's going to take some getting used to. It It looks like you might want to avoid these guys. But honestly, take the time to learn how to to parry and fight properly. Because they're going to, like I said, some bosses, we're going to have to just straight up do that. So you're going to need to learn it. Clear this room out. Scrap iron and things like that. Hug this secret wall. I'm going to get another prayer bead. Light coin purse. Smash this. Heavy coin purse. And then prayer bead in this chest. Okay. So that's it for in here. And I'll look up and you'll be able to grapple. Up there. And we've got some Gaichin's sugar. A couple of those. That's the stealth one. Now get your shuriken ready. There's going to be three enemies in the room below us. Uh, hit the old woman, just takes one shuriken and it'll kill her. And then unfortunately you can't get the blue one. You're going to have to get for the regular guy, but any one will have to do. Uh, yeah, and then be prepared to fight. Don't go running around the corner. Because uh, there's another two down there that won't aggro if you don't go down there. Yeah, 
He went straight through that spear then. <laughs> yeah, these guys are a real pain because they're good. Well, they would be, wouldn't they? On top of the castle. They do have that pushback, which is a, a bit of an annoying one. And then, yeah, he's straight through. He gets hit with the spear and straight through it again. Obviously, the spear is using um, the spirit emblems, so if you don't want to use it, then don't. It just helps, and you know you can play around with all the tools. That's what they're there for. So go up the stairs, leave these two for now. We're not going to go down there yet. We're just going to come up here. Uh, listen to this. This uh, remnant. I'm going to skip it. And then we're going to go into here. So there was a door downstairs as well, I forgot to mention. If you did open it, don't worry. Uh, but I'm going to keep it shut because it just helps with stealthing around. If you want to farm and things like that, the others won't see see you. So, uh, yeah, sit at the idle. If you don't need to rest, then don't. Then everyone won't be back. But yeah, this door here, you can open it. Uh, if you did, it really doesn't matter. I just won't. Because if you, anything goes wrong in this room, it means all those three won't come pouring out as well. So we'll jump down here, grapple onto the middle, and then look over the edge. There's going to be some enemies. Where are they? There they are. Uh, there's four. Try and go for the blue one. He's the one by the door. So you'll be able to jump. Uh, you can have... I don't have firecrackers ready. So yeah, firecrackers are a good one to have ready. We do have... I have the spring-loaded ones as well as the regular ones. Uh, they're just slightly better. We upgraded ones. So try and do a big jump and get the blue one out of the way. And then you've got a, three regular-ish ones. These ones without the hat obviously are. If they do everything... I'm trying to do firecrackers here. They're not giving me a chance. They're not giving me an opening. Yeah, I managed to kill the second one. I didn't realise that. I thought it was behind me still at this point. But I did manage to kill both of those ones. So I'm trying to move around this guy. But no, I did uh, kill all three. So yeah, killing the uh, blue one first is obviously going to help a lot there. Eel liver helps with lightning. That guy's still dying, apparently. <laughs> uh, eel livers help with uh, lightning-based attacks. And then in here is prosthetic tool. That's the Sabimaru, which is a poison dagger. Which does inflict poison damage, which is good. Uh, there's two doors to go through. This is the one we want to go through. So I don't want to open this one first. I want to open the other one. So this is a new area. And then just show you through here. If you open this one up as well, it's a shortcut down the stairs. Where we fought that first mini boss at the start here. We're at the top of those stairs now. So if you want to run down to that idol instead, you can do. And then you can just come through here that way. Oh, I saw something. There is nothing there. Let's sneak around here. There's two guys on the bridge there. And that's what saw me, spotted me. So there's a monk with a spear and there's just a regular guy. If you wait for the monk to walk off to the left, you can jump up on this tree and then jump across and then duck down again and just be careful he doesn't spot you. It's just so we can get rid of this guy without having to fight him, basically. If he does start seeing you, obviously slow down, back away. Yeah, he'll turn around again. That's your opening. You're going to land next to this other guy, but he's not going to be a problem. He should give you that heavy coin purse. That did look like a. it wasn't a random drop. So they're, they're the ones that spotted me. We're not going down there yet. I'm going to go and uh, just empty this area out. So another dragon's blood droplet here for if you need uh, help with dragon rot. If you want to cure anyone. I'm just going to rest here because we're not going to go back the same way we came. Refill. So down here we're going to do a couple of purchases. Just drop down and in here is uh, Black Hat 
Abadja, I think his name is. Is it Abadja? Sounds wrong now I'm saying it. Anyway, yeah, it's Blackout Badger. Yeah, I thought it was. Uh, yeah, he has a a tool, a prosthetic tool, the Iron Fortress that we need, and he also has the anti-air death, death blow text, which is a pretty cool little move you can use against certain enemies, including that purpley one that we saw at the beginning that I said was really horrible. Uh, if you're close enough to an enemy and they jump in the air to do an attack, only certain enemies, then you can jump and just negate the whole posture bar and uh, and kill them. But uh, yeah, we're going to buy both of those. So go to your inventory and you're going to need uh, 2,800. Uh, if you don't have 2,800, you should, should have. But if you don't, you can go and use that farming section we did at the top of the castle. Just go and do a few runs of that uh, and you should get there pretty quickly. It'll help with a bit of uh, XP as well. And then buy both of those. And then you can exhaust your dialogue with uh, Black Hat Badger as well. Uh, I think he does ask you a question at some point. Just keep speaking to him. And then keep low here. There is that item. I did forget it. It is some sugar. Uh, I will just come back at the beginning of the next video and grab it quickly. Uh, so drop down here. There's one with a gun. And then you want to watch these ones in here. These have cannons, the ones in these towers. So let him de-aggro. I'm just listening. I can't see him. But I can just hear him. And when that yellow disappears, you'll hear him sort of reset and walk towards the... He's going to face off to the right-hand side. So you can jump up this side and get the, uh, the death blow. Yeah, they're, they're not particularly nice, especially when you, you need to shut them down quickly because they do quite a lot of damage with that cannon of theirs. Yeah, don't drop down there. Just having a look. It was, I thought it was a ledge. There, was, there wasn't. So careful up here. Careful, careful. Stay low. And then we're going to drop down. He was just overlooking this. I'm going to grab this. Black gunpowder. That is the beginning. That's where we fought a, a boss early on. And we dropped down to go to the snake. So, you know, I said be careful, careful. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Out of experience, what happens if you don't? Everything becomes alerted. So you can see there's a cannon there. I, he can't get you down this side. So there's going to be a spear guy, and there's going to be one with the alarm. And there's a few items here, most importantly, or most notably, the uh, light coin purse and the Gaichin sugar. Gaichin sugar, however you say that. At the top of the stairs, there's going to be two gunners and one with a cannon. Uh, I try and time this, so I wait for the gun, sh the cannon shot, and he's got to reload, and then I was hopefully... Trying to kill this one and get that animation, uh, but I wasn't quick enough, so I'm just going to heal. We have to go and uh, take him on. I don't know why I did that. I was supposed to press L2. <laughs> really, I'm rusty. So he does have a really long wind up when he does the swings. So just wait for it, and then take him down. Uh, ultimately, all we came for was the gunpowder at the bottom, and to speak to Black Hat. If you go along this wall, there's another Gaichin Sugar. Gaichin Sugar. Just wanted to check around the other side of this. There is nothing, so don't worry. But uh, yeah, that's essentially it for this video. Uh, I'm just going to go back to the dilapidated temple as always, and uh, we do have new two new tools that we need to uh, get equipped. So I'm going to go and do that. But lots of boss fights in the next video. Uh, a, I think we'll do both of them, but we're going to have a mini boss fight and then two major boss fights. Uh, yeah, we'll see how the first one goes as to whether we'll do both in one. Probably will. So we've got the loaded umbrella. And the Sabi Maru. So a shield and a, po a poison dagger, basically. And then we'll just have a quick run over. Uh, 
and yeah, if you have some skill points, then just carry the track on. So this is uh, Shinobi Eyes will give you extra um, posture damage when doing the Makiri counter, and then I'll, we'll also need to get these other two to get this this last one as well. So we're going to do that, but uh, not got enough just yet. Right, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.